Studies have shown that up to 50% of users who take anabolic steroids develop acne. However, acne is not the only skin condition that can be exacerbated by taking anabolic steroids, as will be discussed later in the video. With responses ranging from minor breakouts to widespread cysts and nodules, many gym goers are left begging the question, why do steroids actually cause acne? Why is there such a wide range of responses? And what are the most effective methods to treat it? Before answering these questions, it's first important to look at the anatomy of the skin. This the skin contains tiny sacs called hair follicles. Hair follicles contain a hair matrix, which consists of stem cells that proliferate and differentiate into keratinocytes. Keratin is a tough protein that forms hair, nails, and the outer layer of the skin. As more cells are formed, keratinocytes are pushed upwards, flatten, and die, forming the hair shaft. Sebaceous glands excrete sebum into the hair follicles. Sebum is an oily fluid that moisturizes and waterproofs the skin, as well as coats the hair shaft. The hair follicle hair shaft and sebaceous gland are collectively referred to as a pilosebaceous unit. Acne is caused by these pilosebaceous units becoming blocked. This can be due to increased sebum production or increased shedding of dead keratinocytes from the hair follicle or a combination of the two. If the pilosebaceous unit is only partially blocked, oxygen from the air can enter and react with the melanin inside keratinocytes, causing the pimple to appear black. This is called a blackhead or an open comedone. If the hair follicle is completely blocked, however, normal bacteria that colonize the skin can start to overgrow, stimulating an immune response. This results in inflammation and the production of pus, causing it to appear white. This is called a white head or closed comedone. Anabolic steroids cause acne as they stimulate hypertrophy of the sebaceous glands, resulting in increased sebum production. This has two effects. Not only does it cause the hair follicles to become blocked, but it also increases the amount of lipids on the skin surface. This therefore increases the population of normal skin bacteria which feed on these lipids, especially one called Propionibacterium acnes. This explains why acne typically flares during puberty when testosterone production naturally increases. It is therefore no surprise that steroid users with free testosterone levels up to 10 times higher than natural lifters can develop the most severe forms of acne. These are medically referred to as acne fulminans and acne complongata and are characterized by interconnecting comedones causing disfiguring cysts, inflammatory nodules, and deep burrowing abscesses. But why is it that some bodybuilders develop such severe acne whilst others have completely clear skin? The first reason is due to the type of steroid the individual uses. Different steroids have different androgen receptor affinities and different interactions with steroid metabolizing enzymes and steroid transport proteins such as sex hormone binding globulin. Anecdotal reports have found that 19 nortesterone derivatives such as trembolone carry the highest risk of developing acne. The second reason is due to the individual steroid cycle. Large fluctuations in hormones have been associated with an increased risk of acne. Therefore, giving steroids at higher doses and longer intervals creates a perfect hormonal storm to develop acne. The third reason is due to genetics. If you have a family history or past medical history of acne, you are at greater risk of developing steroid-induced acne. However, those who are not acne-prone should still be wary, as studies have found steroid users with no prior history of acne have still gone on to develop steroid-induced acne. The main treatment options for acne include number one, benzyl peroxide. This drug is a applied topically and releases free radical oxygen species that kill bacteria. Number two, antibiotics. Options include topical clindamycin or oral limecycline depending on the acne severity. Again, these act by killing the overgrown skin bacteria. Thirdly, retinoids. Options include topical andapaline or oral isotretinoin, otherwise known by the brand name Accutane. Retinoids act by reducing keratinocyte proliferation and increasing keratinocyte shedding, overall preventing these dead skin cells from blocking the hair follicles. Oral isotretinoin also inhibits the proliferation of sebocytes, resulting in decreased sebum production. This explains why a major side effect of isotretinoin is dry, flaky skin. In addition, retinoids have been shown to decrease secondary scarring and hyperpigmentation. All of these reasons combined make isotretinoin the gold standard in acne treatment. As a quick side note, acne is not the only skin condition that can be caused or exacerbated by anabolic steroids. The list is too extensive to cover in this video. However, However, one of the most disfiguring conditions caused by anabolic steroids is keloid scars. The lesions on this man's chest and back are not normal acne scars, they are keloids. Unlike normal scars, keloid scars extend beyond the boundaries of the damaged skin. Studies have suggested that supraphysiological doses of anabolic steroids 
foods stimulate both an increase in collagen deposition and a decrease in collagen degradation, resulting in the overproduction of scar tissue. Keloids are very difficult to treat as surgically removing them may create further keloid scarring. If you would like to see a video breaking down other skin conditions caused by anabolic steroids, please leave a comment down below.